we took our 2012 Chevy Impala to the local GM dealer and they told us it was going to cost $300 to install a block heater. So I thought I'd show you how. Here's what we did. We installed a CATS block heater that we bought from Napa for $63. Bucks. First step was to get the front end of the car lifted up. I used some service ramps that I have. They're safe and support the car without any danger of it falling on you. The next step is to take a piece of safety wire and push it down just underneath those two silver braided hoses right there. There's sort of an opening. Push it all the way down to the bottom of the car. Here's what's in the CATS block heater for this vehicle. There's a cartridge heater that pushes into a hole in the block and a cord with a metal clip. So here's where it goes. Slide underneath the car on your back. When you get to the back of the engine, look up on the driver's side of the exhaust pipes and this is what you'll see. Right there next to the transmission is a hole in the block that the cartridge fits into. That's it right there. We'll look at it from another angle here. This is more what it'll look like from where you're laying on the floor. There's the hole right there. On your left is the transmission, on your right is the exhaust pipe. The back of the car is to the top of the screen right now. There's the hole right up there. So one more good look at it. This is what it would look like laying on your back on the floor. Again, the driver's side of the car is to the left of the screen right now. So here we go. We slide underneath the car, we clean out the hole with compressed air. We plug the cord into the cartridge. Slide the cartridge into the hole that we found in the block. And there's a small metal tab on the cord of the cartridge that hooks to a casting lip on the upper left side of that hole. Make sure, and make sure that that connects securely. Then hook the plug to the piece of safety wire that we pushed down from the top so you can get up and pull it through to the top side of the engine. Then route the cable, the power cord, out the front of the car. I like to keep it really short so that it doesn't flop in the wind and damage the front of your car. I tied it to the black cross member there with a zip tie. Check to fit that when the hood is closed, it doesn't pinch the electrical cord. You don't want to damage that cord. One more quick check to make sure that everything is in place and that that electrical cord doesn't touch anything that might damage it. One more quick check to make sure I didn't leave any tools in the car, which is something I do on a regular basis. And you're done. On video, this takes about four minutes. In real life, it should take you about a half an hour or 45 minutes. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps.